Welcome to Klein Estates. I want to show you the model home called The Quail. This is built by Linvest and it has every single thing you could possibly want in one house. So let me show you all the details that are available to you. What's so interesting about this house is that it is a, definitely a team effort, but Jeff Palmatar was the one who really took it from the beginning to end in terms of vision. We all worked on it together, but he put in those final touches. So note, have a look at our website to see all the people that participated. Okay, so let me give you a design tour just so you sort of have some ideas. I want to really talk about trends, you know, what's coming, what we're seeing more of, less of, and you know where to put your time and money. Uh, front foyer, this is all done out of a porcelain tile and you'll notice the pattern, very strong, busy pattern. Uh, but busy is good when you're trying to make a statement in a style that is more glamour 70s and that's really where we took our inspiration for this house. So it's not modern in the sense of what we think of as modern today, it's modern in what we saw in 30 years ago, 40 years ago, where it was really jam-packed, there were lots of details and elements were really brought to life. But the modern part about this is the fact that the walls are dark, not light and you're going to see lots of dark elements as you walk through here. So, great foyer, porcelain tile, very durable, easy to manage, and like this, you can easily lay a mat on top of it, a rug, so when people come in and they want to wipe their feet, it gives you a good place, it doesn't interrupt your path. So moving in here, um, this house has great windows, so it's a really different style because the windows are corner wrap, so really speaks to modern architecture. We are seeing more of that. The treatment for these type of windows, though, are drapes that push to the side and kind of come together in the corner, so it's a little bit different than what we've seen. Um, but very nice high ceilings in here. You get the sense of the height, the drama of the space. You'll notice our ceiling detail, um, huge element using the square, and that square is repeated in the wall unit here. And for the wall unit, I really thought we should do something that wasn't just a bookcase, because more and more people have other elements that they want to showcase, and they have less and less books. So we wanted to make sure that there's a place for books, but also the idea of sort of boxes to showcase features. Note that we have a wallpaper with sheen, which is really important. And because this is an office space, we have the doors that allow us to close it off if you want some privacy. big trends right now in interior design is, in Canada anyway, is lighter floors. Now this has been tough for people to get their head around because they've been used to a darker floor. But if you have pets um, or you really have a lot of sunlight that skims across your floor, dark floors can be challenging. So light floors are a little bit more forgiving. We did paint our solid doors in a darker gray, a charcoal, but then added in very traditional hardware. Um, traditional in the sense that it is a knob and that there's quite a bit of detail on here. Now, if a knob is hard for you to grab, switch to a lever. For some people, a lever handle is easier to manage, but from a looks point of view, the vintage feel of this is gorgeous. I'm gonna show you the powder brown. Um, so, powder room here, we have a beautiful mounted sink over top of Cambria. Um, the Cambria, you can see, has the dark, the dark background and then the light line through it. And then there's a little storage drawer here that allows you to keep all your goods. Then, we did this wonderful wallpaper. This is vinyl. This is from Philip Jeffries in the black. This just speaks to vintage 70s style. I absolutely love it, but it just shows how much we're seeing um, old glamour styles return. And I would like to point out one thing here, you know, so our floor is a pattern uh, floor. Also very strong, but 
does the decorating for you, so you don't have to do a lot more if you put in a strong floor. <laughs> house and a lot of elements in here to bring up so the, the decor is hundred percent Jeff here this is him and Susanna working together on this couple couple things to note: fireplace and the full wall of marble around it gives it a really nice column feel very modern feel but then we have wallpaper we have drapes layered with a dark carpet layered with lots of texture on the furniture this really is what we're seeing the direction change to again a lot more texture and pattern upon pattern you'll notice that the sofa is curved and that for a lot of people is going to be a huge change because they've been so used to having a square arm but we are finally seeing the return to softer styles that kind of sit into you as opposed to you sitting into it. So you're gonna look for more rounded curved arms, more taper down, thinner arms. Um, it's just a reaction to what we've had for so long, which has been boxy style. So this is a very comfy sofa to just kind of tuck into and um, yeah, kind of get cozy and just different. Here's a great feature. Instead of doing your regular trim, try having a millwork company. Definitely more work, but worth it. Create a detail like this around your openings. So you can paint it any color, do anything you want, but instead of it traditional, it's more modern. Moving here into the dining room. This room is a lovely sized room. It has a lot of great features. First of all, we have a very nice dining room table. It's got what we call a bevel edge on it. So that means it's a nice point edge where it tucks underneath. So it looks like it's floating when you're actually looking at the table. The chairs um, that we had made have a different fabric on the back and then a durable fabric on the front. Same wallpaper is in our living room or sitting room. And then a really patterned carpet. You'll notice the pattern carpet is actually sitting into a wood band on the floor. The floor is actually multiple colors. It's mostly light, but there is a dark border that's added to it, you can see here. So what's nice about that is it gives you the option of framing out an area if you want. And if you have a floor installer who's able to, they, to do that, it's sometimes nice to add elements like that in. The thing that I love, the simplicity of this light. This is where we are headed in um, lighting design today, where lights are slimmer and more space filling because of volume and shape, but not necessarily material within the light itself. So it's basically capturing air and that's what you end up looking at. This detail is reflected in the design above of the ceiling that we've actually applied molding to to again give more detail. I'm standing in front of a wine display that's in the dining room, and this is really one of the big features that we're seeing today in that people's hobbies are no longer stuck in the basement, if you will. Meaning, if you love wine or you're a wine aficionado, we're seeing it upstairs. I don't have to run downstairs to the cellar to go get it. I want to show my guests, here's my collection, and I got this, blah, blah, blah. Same with kitchens. We see all our knife collection out now, or we see, um, a big sink because you love to chop, you know, show off what you're able to do. So that's what I mean by it. Whatever your hobby is, we're now seeing it on the main floor. So it's something that you're able to share with people. And it's personal, it's about you now. And that's what's so nice about adding these kind of elements. So sometimes you have to pay a little bit more, but they're also taking advantage of the space that you spend the most amount of time because it's not hidden away in a basement room somewhere. You spent the money to showcase it so we really see it. Let's talk about the staircase.
beautiful big staircase, but instead of treating this in a traditional molding way, where people add your traditional molding, we opted to add a modern detail to this. And the way we did that was by finding basically a thin molding that comes together at the corners. Let me show you. So this molding piece comes together here, and then there we've left a groove in between. And without adding a lot to the wall, we've actually completely filled the wall. So it's kind of surprising how little can make a huge difference. We've also added in stair lights, which are a wonderful feature if you have the opportunity because they really define the stairs. And when you're entertaining or in the evening and you don't want all the lights on, it's kind of nice to have those lights on. Okay, so let me show you this great feature. This is by Estate Interiors. So you know when you have those awkward walkways, you're like, I don't know what to do with this. You could have done anything. We could have hung pictures. We could have put shelves in here. Instead, what we did was had this screen made and then we put lighting behind it to give us this sort of entry. It's really a, an archway that's lit up to have glamour feel to help enter you right into this amazing kitchen. So this is a glamorous, over-the-top kitchen. So you may not want to do all these elements in one place, but we wanted the opportunity to showcase what happens when you really go to the nines, when you really see it done. So let's start with the floor. First of all, the tile is a porcelain tile, large scale, so 18 by 36, and we have centered the pattern using the small breaks in the floor to actually create direction. So it helps break up the floor a little bit and gives you a more visual pull towards the back of the kitchen, which is our feature hood. So the hood is lined in gold, but you could certainly do a nickel or any metal or black if you didn't want to stand out as much. In this case, our theme is gold mixed with black. And we are really seeing right now that idea of glamour, um, also very dark kitchen. So we've combined a little bit of both here. Lots of pullouts. Um, this kind of idea of having something like this to the side is really helpful because it allows you to keep spices or trays or whatever it is see our tree storage here just makes for a little bit more of an effective storage. The goal here is to get less up high and more down low so that when you're working everything is easier to get. Um, we have our prep sink here and then we have see here, fridge, freezer drawers. So crispers, ideas like this are excellent for drinks, for storage of um, additional vegetables. You're putting it where you're working. That's really part of the goal. Our countertop is Cambria, and you can see it combines all the colors of the house together in this one surface. As a quartz surface, it's extremely durable. Same with the, the counter back here. Uh, different pattern, a little bit lighter. On this side of the kitchen is what I would like to call uh, the scullery side. Scullery meaning it's the wash side. So this sink is different than that sink. That sink is the prep sink, which by the way, you'll notice it's black. This one is white and it's an apron face. This is from Blanco. This is made of what they call sal granite, or it's basically a, a quartz made sink. Extremely durable. So what's nice about this is I have a window. I can look out onto my loggia as people are eating or entertaining. I have great surface area and a wonderful sink faucet here. Um, double side this is Brizo. And Brizo is a really nice design company. They've done a great job in creating some really interesting crossover transitional design with lots of glamour. Dishwasher, garbage pullouts, all along here. So that's why I say this is more your cleanup area. Now, when I leave here, we have a nice dining space, which this really could be just as good for entertaining as your dining room. And here's one of the best features that the architect added into this house. 
This is the entertainment bar. This is a great serving bar, or if you're having a dessert or um, um, a shower, say you're having it at the house, you can use this as your dessert or coffee bar. Or if you just like to entertain with the guys after baseball or something like that, you can put it out here and use it as such a useful surface. We have a full working bar surface here. You have a sink again. And of course we have our wine fridge. You'll notice that this is all in black. And that's why I say we really are seeing that change from white to black or dark surfaces. And here we've mixed in both dark mirrored glass behind, which again gives this wonderful um, rootiness, even though we're in a kitchen, I have a glamorous feel in here and I don't have the sense necessarily that it is only in the kitchen that I'm entertaining. I feel like I'm kind of in a bar a little bit. Uh, we have our cabinet design here, which uses the metal again, which could be any metal again, we opted to go with gold. Okay, I want to show you this. This is very cool. Um, pantry. Full-in walk-in pantry or morning kitchen. Again, this might be the kitchen you do your prep. And we've added in this ladder so that for once, it's actually useful. And key thing to note, this is where you're going to keep the majority of your storage of items. So if you have extra dishes, extra anything, it's going to go in here. So that's why we added in the ladder so it was more useful. You could add a second fridge in here. Um, like I said, it could be a morning kitchen, so meaning it's the kitchen that you use when you get up in the morning. All right, let's go to the family room. a lot of elements that are already in the house with the light floor and the dark border. Here's what I really love about this room is you can see the size of the sectional that is here and a couple really interesting elements is first of all it's rounded on the edges and then we have the rounded edges. So comfortable and great for entertaining. I have this for reading which is also really important. So this room it's not chock-a-block, it's not full of stuff everywhere, but it gives you everything that you need to be comfortable. And I can see the TV, I can turn and look at people in here. I have a full fireplace with a lovely cast stone modern mantle. This is this here, so this is perfect. So it's not overdone, right? I feel like I have a transitional look here and it blends into the nice wallpaper that's behind. Again, you'll notice that there's lots of texture here. The color on the ceiling blends in and drops into the wall. So we don't have lots of different colors everywhere. Here, it's really about the lights and the artwork with the pillows that frame it up. So you kind of get this combination of elements, totally different feel. Glam, glam, think glam 70s. Um, Studio 54, that kind of thing. And again, We've added in swivel chairs in here, and I am a huge believer that you add in a swivel chair because when you have a room like this, you want to be able to turn and talk and to be able to watch TV. For a lot of people, they panic because they're going back on my back to people, but a swivel really resolves a lot of those problems. Now I can watch TV, turn and talk, and go back. So they take up a lot less room than recliners, and they're compact and they're very comfortable. So these are just so nice, so happy with these.
go upstairs? Yep. 